through the empowerment of building skills, the students learn how to stand up on their own. They have support of a partner, support of an instructor, and then they have the knowledge to go out and you know bridge those gaps. I think Pasadena has done a great job with actually um, put together a, a model that works to help the kids in a student-centered environment. It gives them an opportunity to work together with other students so they get a little bit of plumbing, they get a little bit of tile setting. And if they don't use this for a career type thing, it'd be nice to know how to change a plug or uh, do some tiling, do some craft type of thing around the house. To put your hands on it and actually do it yourself, that's like the best feeling. So. I look forward to this class. It teaches you something new every day. And they look forward to coming in here because it's an activity type class. So many of the other classes they sit and it's a lot of book work or lecturing. And they understand things pretty well without a whole lot of assistance. So even though I have 16 different stations, it works real well. You know, have an opportunity to look at instructions, read instructions, and then come to a conclusion on how to you know, get that task completed. So occupationally, I think it's going to help them with the time management skills, also with them actually going into construction or going into architecture or going into any other field. It just gives them the basic understanding of reading, writing, and um, critical thinking skills. They can see the video, they read the book, oh, I did this before, I did the dado, I did the rabbits, I know how to set the machine. So it's less labor intensive on my part. And so I'm able to get around and help more students. Being able to go around and see as many as 14 or 15 different skills, then these students get a chance to say, do I want to go into the engineering field, the architectural field? Or do I want to do wall framing or do I want to do roof framing? And so many opportunities are opened up and students have a chance to explore each and every one of them. In wall framing, you know how to lay out the walls, you know how to put in a window seal, you know how to put in a header for a door um, for the weatherization. We put in weather stripping, um, insulation, so you know how to do all that with your house. You know how to call for stuff so it seals up um, little gaps. Um, roof, you know how to build the prints on your roof. 120. And right here we're using the six, which is a one ten volt. So them having an the opportunity to apply math to real world situations, that is huge because the math teachers come back and talk with me or we'll go to a math class and we'll actually talk to a math teacher and get a better understanding of slope, run, pitch. On the English side, we basically get to do the writing portion. So they have to do some technical writing. They have to provide me some knowledge on what they accomplished that day. And the parents come up and they're so thankful. One, you're taking interest in their kids, but two, that they're helping secure, hopefully, the future, the kids' future. It sets them up for success and helps them become real, real life problem solvers. And so their confidence level spikes. They start doing a little bit better in some other classes. And, you know, and for some kids, it truly is that game changer for them and gives them something to get up every morning and come to school for. You're not only are setting kids up for success past high school, but you're setting up success for the rest of their life. You're empowering, you know, confidence that maybe they don't get anywhere else.